Why was six afraid of seven? <laughs> because because seven eight nine. <laughs> Did you get it? Seven eight nine. <laughs> Dude, seven eight nine. Welcome to TBD episode 10. seven. I'm Andrew and I'm Sean and TBD stands for the big drawing. Today and this Monday are your last chances to buy winter formal tickets. It's called A Night Under the Stars. But how do we get all those famous people to stand on the ceiling all night long? <laughs> Don't they get tired? <laughs> Tickets today will be sold for $45, and on Monday they'll be sold for 50 How much are you paying these celebrities? <laughs> The Pacific Coast Debate League is coming to DTEC. More like the Pacific Ghost Debate League because no one wants to show up! <laughs> Not unless you sign up on the announcements page. <laughs> There's a meeting for an online cultural exchange program with Japanese students today. Mokua. Nihongo ga daisuki. Demo. Design tech. Daikirai desu yo. Email Nicole Sarah if you're interested. Today is the last day you can get your ID card replaced if it's not functioning properly. Talk to Paul Sarah if your ID card is not functioning properly. Something witty. Informational response. Please take a few minutes to let us know what you think about TBD. Go to the link on the dtechdragon.com or in the description of this episode to find the link to the form. Dude, shut up. I spilled water on Andrew. But we got some great new articles on the dragon. The first one is about the fumes coming from the DRG, written by Tyler Sanderville. There's a new chalkboard by the cafeteria. Read more about it in the article that Ethan, you made. Please read it. Our traffic is down, and we really need some new viewership. Please. Thank you. Now here is a reported piece on the new mural. Breaking news. There is now a mural at DTEC. Just kidding, you probably already heard about it. However, it is there, and it is complete. Right on the wall of the rooms 105, 104, and 103, there is now a piece of art. What used to be a bleak hallway is now vibrant and full of life. It very much changes the energy in this, what was called a dark area, is now like one of the brightest areas of the school. It's like one of the first things that like this building has actually had that's like made by the students aside from like paintings put on walls. It's like literally a painting in the wall, which has made the building more ours, kind of like the hangar, because the hangar had a very D-Tech feel to it, where it was like very us, and now I think because of this mural and some of the other things, this new building is becoming more D-Tech. It was started during the Mural Arts Intercession class in October. From there, a design was created and the hard work started. I would say we did about 20 different versions of the sketch and the, or the blueprints for this mural before we actually presented to the school administration and got the green light to paint the mural. Well, it actually only was going to be one wall, just a small wall outside of Mrs. Panetta's uh, Spanish room. Then it grew to two walls, and then it kind of grew to three walls in this zigzag formation. What does the mural represent? Well, there's a bit of everything. At its core, there's the legend of the koi that turns into a dragon. There's the long gone redwood forest of Redwood City. There's the piano that haunted the old hangar. And there is half of the car that was sticking out of the wall on Rollins campus. What it is is actually telling a story. So some say that my next intercession, I should rename the intercession to be called Storytelling with Mural Arts instead of just Mural Arts, because that's basically what we're doing is we're telling your stories, your history, and uh, your future stories to the next generation. While there have been other art pieces created around the school, on whiteboards, posters, displays, and so on, all of that is very temporary compared to this mural. This mural will probably stick around for quite a bit. In the future, there will be more murals in other parts of the school, and the class will continue for the rest of the year in intercessions. 
I'm sure DTEC students will be eagerly awaiting future creations that might come out of that class. This is TBD, and I'm Vlad Morozov, reporting from Design Tech High School, Redwood Shores, California. That was epic. epic. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, as well as follow us on all our social media accounts. Much like. Sorry. Excuse me. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Oh. Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that you can now uh, apply to be a host on TBD. There's going to be a link under this video or uh, in the description of this video if you're watching in YouTube. Uh, and the link can also be bit.ly slash host TBD. Uh, and please, please apply. I, I don't want Andrew to host anymore. What? What? Please. What? What? Was that a live firing? Am I getting fired? Was that <laughs> someone getting uh, fired on air? I'm getting fired. <laughs> That's all we have for you this week. Tune in next week where we tell you more announcements, more Dragon articles, and complain about the DTEC system. See you there.